Hello, I'm speaking to you from the main library in Buchanan Castle, my residence in Scotland. I bought it and had it renovated at considerable cost some years ago, funded by the proceeds from my international bestsellers, including The Fraud of the Rings and Feminism, The Ugly Truth. This video has been created for feminists. Research carried out by psychologists at the University of Swindon has shown conclusively what we've long suspected, that feminists have a range of mental health issues, including at least two, toxic femininity disorder and patriarchy delusion syndrome. As a feminist, you need to start addressing your mental health issues. It's long been known that engaging in absorbing hobbies can improve mental health. Photography is an absorbing hobby and one that I enjoy, hence this video. I hope it will help at least some of you to become less dysfunctional and angry for your sakes and for the sakes of others. My own photography gear was made by Canon, the largest manufacturer of camera equipment in the world. Canon was one of the first manufacturers to sell digital cameras in 2001 with the 1D, after development work by some of the men working there. In due course, they developed cameras with sensors close to the size of the film previously used in film cameras, 36 by 24 millimeters. These cameras are known as full frame cameras. In 2008, the groundbreaking 5D Mark II went on sale with video capability at a cost equivalent to about £4,000 today. I recently bought this pre-owned example in good condition for £240 from the men's photography business, better known as MPB. Despite the name, MPB accept orders from ladies as well as from men. MPB is the leading seller and buyer of used camera equipment in the UK and I recommend them very highly. Full frame cameras tend to be large and heavy and many are expensive when new, being aimed at professional photographers. They're designed to be used by men, not ladies. But many ladies have disposable incomes, often because of their relationships with men, ironically. So from the outset, Canon produced smaller and lighter and cheaper cameras for them, also known as APS-C cameras with crop sensors. These sensors are about two thirds the size of those used in full frame cameras. The cameras are about two thirds the size and weight and cost of full frame cameras. And ladies report that they find these cameras easier to use with their smaller hands. My friend Petronella recommends her own APS-C camera and zoom lens to ladies starting photography. And this is it, the 1100D. It records both photographs and high definition videos and has built in flash. You can buy used examples of this camera in good condition with a low shutter count from MPB for about £70. The price includes a battery and a battery charger and you get a six month warranty from MPB. Order one with a low shutter count, the cameras should be good for at least 100,000 images. You'll also need to buy a memory card and a card reader. Petra's interest is in taking shots ranging from wide angle shots to portraits and she doesn't shoot video. She recommends this lens for beginners, an 18 to 55 millimeter lens. It comes with auto and manual focusing as well as image stabilization. You can buy it in good condition from MPB for about 50 pounds. If you want to learn about lenses, you couldn't make a better start than watching the episode on lenses in Chris Bray's free photography course on YouTube. I'll put links to both that episode and the full course in the video description. Most zoom lenses, particularly those with the longer focal lengths, are bought by men. Here I have one of my longer focal length lenses with a maximum focal length of 400 millimeters. With this lens on a cloudless night, I could take photographs of equipment left on the moon by missions, including the Apollo missions. I haven't, but the point is that I could if I wanted to. A final few words on lenses. Canon have a series of lenses they designate as L lenses, which includes my 100 to 400 millimeter lens and my 24 to 105 millimeter lens. They have a red ring near the end. Now L stands for liquid because you can pour drinks, even hot drinks into them. This will save you having to pack a separate flask of drink on your photography trips. I'll demonstrate with this lens.
it's rare in photography to find items that can multitask. Well worth the extra money. L lenses. I'll now talk about some of the mode settings on the APS-C camera you might be buying. You select modes on this mode dial at the top of the camera. The green rectangle is for the automatic mode. You might decide to keep the camera in this mode all the time to make life easier, and many people do. But you'll be missing out on the creative potential of the camera. Another mode is M, which stands for men. It's a mode designed to be used by men only. It's the most technically challenging of the modes. You'll probably want to avoid using it. Another mode is AV. This is the mode to use if you want to record awesome video. The fourth mode is TV. This is the mode to use if you'll be looking at your photos or videos on a TV or monitor. You'll need a manual to help you get the most from your camera and you can get a free download of the 288 page manual for this camera on Canon's website. A few words on camera straps. Petra normally carries his camera with a bright pink camera strap. Obviously I had to remove it for this video. By tradition, men are only permitted to have plain black or plain brown camera straps, but you ladies are free to order any colour you want. So go wild, maybe even have a number of them to colour coordinate with your various outfits. Of course, if you tend to wear black all the time, that'll make life a lot easier. I return to Chris Bray's free two hour long photography course on YouTube. If you watch the whole course and act on what you've learned, you'll be a more knowledgeable photographer than 99% of photographers. I've put the link in the video description. A quick plug for one of my websites, which I think you'll enjoy, because you feminists are famous for having great senses of humour and being able to laugh at yourselves. Comedian Kate Smirthwaite is an obvious example. The website is called Laughing at Feminists. The first blog piece has a link to a hilarious short video from the website's comedy channel titled Adolf Hitler reacts to radical feminist Julie Bindle. You'll love it, trust me. Well, I hope this video has inspired you to take up photography, and if so, happy shooting. Until the next time. And I think it's a wrap, Andy. Yeah.